The stock market, often described as a complex and unpredictable entity, can be an intimidating place for beginners. However, it is also a gateway to financial growth and stability that should not be overlooked. In this guide, we will take a journey through the stock market, breaking down its fundamental principles and providing insights that will help even the most novice investors get started on the right track. At its core, the stock market is a bustling marketplace where individuals and institutions come together to buy and sell shares of publicly traded companies. When you purchase a share of a company's stock, you are essentially acquiring a tiny ownership stake in that company. The value of your shares can fluctuate, influenced by a multitude of factors, including the company's performance, economic conditions, and market sentiment. Why should you consider investing in stocks as a beginner? There are several compelling reasons. First and foremost, stocks have historically proven to be one of the most lucrative investment options over the long term. While they may experience short-term fluctuations and volatility, they tend to offer substantial returns when held for an extended period. One of the crucial concepts for beginners to grasp is stock market indices. These are like barometers that measure the health and performance of the stock market or specific sectors within it. For instance, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average are two well-known indices in the United States. These indices track the prices of a select group of stocks to provide a snapshot of market conditions and sentiment. As a beginner, keeping an eye on these indices can help you gauge the general direction of the market. Now let's explore how you can actually buy stocks and become a part of this dynamic marketplace. To begin, you'll need a brokerage account. Fortunately, the advent of online brokerage platforms has made it easier than ever for beginners to dive into the world of stock investing. Start by selecting a reputable online broker. Consider factors such as trading fees, account minimums, the user-friendliness of their platform, and their customer service. You want a broker that aligns with your needs and goals. Once you've chosen a broker, you'll need to open an account. This typically involves providing your personal information and financial details. It's a straightforward process, akin to setting up any other online account. After your account is active, you can begin trading stocks. But before you do, it's essential to understand how stock prices are determined. The price of a stock is influenced by the supply and demand for that stock. When more people want to buy a stock than sell it, the price tends to rise. Conversely, if more people want to sell than buy, the price will likely fall. Market orders and limit orders are the two primary types of orders you can use to buy and sell stocks. A market order instructs your broker to buy or sell a stock at the current market price. This type of order ensures that your trade will be executed promptly. In contrast, a limit order allows you to specify the exact price at which you want to buy or sell a stock. However, there is no guarantee that a limit order will be executed if the market does not reach your specified price. Diversification is a critical risk management strategy for beginners. By spreading your investments across different stocks and industries, you can reduce the impact of a single company's poor performance on your overall portfolio. This is often achieved through mutual funds or exchange-traded funds ETFs, that offer a diversified basket of stocks. Risk management is an integral part of stock investing. It's essential to assess your risk tolerance, that is, your ability and willingness to withstand fluctuations in the value of your investments. Generally, younger investors with a longer time horizon can afford to take on more risk as they have more time to recover from market downturns. Additionally, keep an eye on your portfolio and regularly review your investments. It's not a set and forget endeavor. Your financial goals and risk tolerance may change over time, necessitating adjustments to your investment strategy. Finally, don't be swayed by emotions. The stock market can be highly emotional, with prices influenced by fear and greed. Making impulsive decisions based on emotions can lead to poor investment outcomes. Stick to your investment plan and avoid making knee-jerk reactions to market volatility. The stock market is a place where beginners can embark on a journey to financial prosperity. While it may seem daunting initially, understanding the fundamental concepts and taking a disciplined approach to investing can lead to success over time. Start by selecting a reputable broker, conducting research, diversifying your investments, and managing risk. With patience and dedication, you can build wealth and achieve your financial goals through stock market investing.